traffic grace this morning because it's slick out here. It had a bill band ice storm last night. I mean, thundering and everything. And as a result, it's pretty icy out here. I've come down early and kind of started the car, but as you can see, there is ice every freaking way. And there's a good little layer on the ground too. We're gonna try to head into work. Talk about an essential employee. <laughs> Look like a few people been out here though, so maybe there's a little bit of traction. It's pretty slick though, I can tell. I mean, because I'm sliding pretty easy. So we'll see what happens. Let's give it a go. All right, as I sit here and kind of wait for the rest of the car to defrost a little bit, we've been working on a video kind of talking about the pros and cons associated with us downsizing to the apartment. You know, like I said, for, uh, for us to kind of save up money for the next chapter of our life. I think this, the weather factor is one of the biggest cons. You know, we're kind of, we've been spoiled to uh, normally having a garage where we park our cars in where they're, they're typically not too cold. They're kind of shielded from the elements. This is one of the biggest downsides coming out to an extremely hot car, a freezing cold car that's been frozen over. I'm sure that's not good for the paint on the vehicle. Not to mention it takes a little time. Like I said, I started this car like 10 minutes ago and it's still pretty frozen. It's finally starting to give way on the windshield and whatnot so I can head to, uh, to the office. But uh, that would be another one of the, the biggest cons. That's where um, a garage really comes in. Now, luckily some apartment communities uh, around the US have uh, tax garages or covered parking. Uh, I like to think that our apartment community uh, is one of the best here in town. However, we don't have that covered uh, parking as an option. So that is definitely a downside. So it would be kind of cool if we had that to kind of help shield your vehicle from uh, from the elements. All right, so we're gonna try to navigate our way on down the road. All right, y'all, so this is leaving our particular uh, apartment complex. As you can see, our driveway in and out is completely packed in ice. Luckily, I drive a forerunner, so it's doing all right in it so far. Now I'm driving up to uh, to the main highway, so we can see what it uh, looks like. I delayed going into work about an hour or so, hoping that people would have driven on the road. Uh, let's say some people have driven on the road, but as you can see, that is clearly still a thick layer of ice. So I'm gonna take my time, get off this camera, uh, just pray for some traveling grace as I try to make it to work. My wife was really like, you don't need to be going out here like this, but we're gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna try to give it a go. One thing about me, if I feel my life is at risk or it's not safe, I'm gonna turn around and head back to the house anyway, but I'm gonna try to uh, do my duty and get to the workplace. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. The kids taking their time coming. Still fighting some of this ice out here on the ground. Hey, they come bringing up the rear. Snowball fight! Parker, that's ice. No. That's, not, I, that's not snow, bro. No, no, no. Be careful and stop playing kids until you bust your face. You about to head out and get prepared. We got another round of winning. We'd rather come in, y'all. Uh, come tomorrow night, Sunday night. It's supposed to be a system moving in, bringing anywhere from four to eight inches of snow across the state. So we got to go get stocked up for that. Then we'll have a one day break. And I believe it's supposed to be more star come, snow after that. So. You know, I hear they're acting like it's snowmageddon. Stores are all covered up, out of stuff, but we're gonna try to hop over to the next town to see if we might be able to get in Walmart, make a quick gumbo. That's something we can eat on for a couple of days. Pace is gonna try to make some type of, we call it Olive Garden chicken pasta or whatnot. So we're gonna see if we can head to the store. We'll bring y'all along with us as uh, we try to hunt down some necessities. If everybody ain't done panicked and went crazy and bought everything. We should have got out a little earlier, but it is what it is. I'm packing the trash up in the back of the truck so we can go dump it at the dumpster. Now look at her down here, gonna scratch the car up, y'all. We've been in the house for two whole days and I am excited to be out. Where I'm going at? to work Monday. Look at them. <laughs> Morgan, it's oh, don't eat that. Don't oh. eat it, Morgan. That's not that kind of ice, baby. See, y'all, this is why they got to stay in the house. Morgan's first experience probably in snow. You sliding? Boy, you doing that Michael Jackson moonwalk. <laughs> yeah, it's dirty. It's nasty. It's all that sand and stuff. Yeah, it's in the rocks. 
They just got to be dangerous. Look at this. Oh, wow. A lot, yo. Look at all this traffic. Coming out the Walmart. This is not our Walmart. This is in another town about 10 minutes away. Um, 20. 20. Oh, gosh. The snowmageddon is coming. Get your bread. Get your milk. I'm used to this. Born and raised here. My husband just don't understand what you're going to do. It don't snow the, like this in Arkansas. The police is up here, so y'all know this is business. If the this police. This is abnormal, but everybody out here trying to buy up all the bread and the milk. I don't know what bread and milk gonna do for you, but that's what police. they be buying up all the bread and the milk. Ooh, I found the parking spot. <laughs> Glory to God. Don't run the man over. Oh, oh, miss. Lady from the fall. She fall. about to hurt herself. Jesus. Because it's ice. I can't wait till I. Ooh. All right. We'll see y'all inside. All right, y'all. We finally made it out of Walmart. When I tell y'all, we ain't moving it yet. You swear they was, uh. Um, we was getting 12 to 22 inches. The way yeah. that store is ran through, the lines was long, but we managed to get some items. Uh, Not a lot though, guys. Most of the stuff we needed, but we're gonna make it do with you with what we got. Now we're gonna stop at my sister's house and have a little birthday party. And, uh, then we're gonna head home and try to get that gumbo started and start getting prepared for the week, y'all. I'll let y'all uh, watch this as we prepare that gumbo. It's not going to be too traditional. Like I said, they didn't have everything in there, but uh, we're going to make us a little simple chicken and sausage gumbo. Yeah, like We're going to go ahead and get started with our gumbo. So uh, let me turn the camera so I can uh, show y'all what we're about to get working with. All right, y'all. So we have some chicken breast here. Uh, this is going to basically be a little chicken and sausage gumbo. Like I said, we're going to do this in a little uh, different. It's going to have some sausage. Uh, chicken some okra and some shrimp that's going to be a normal we put crabs and maybe a few gizzards and a couple other things in there we're just going to kind of shorten it down like i said we ran into some trouble trying to get all the ingredients so this would just pretty much be some uh chicken sausage shrimp shrimp with some okra uh gumbo so we're going to go ahead and get started on this uh this chicken here what i have is some uh boneless skinless chicken breast i'm about to go ahead and cut these in half and go ahead and put them in my pan with some olive oil and some uh some holy trinity holy trinity for, for those of you aren't from uh louisiana park and move back from that that's nasty bro is a little onion green onion celery that we've kind of chopped up and we're just gonna put that with that olive oil then add our chicken breast to that throw some of these seasonings on it and go ahead and get it uh cooked up for the most part you say hey to the people buddy hey <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and chop these chicken breasts in half, y'all, and transfer them back to the pan. So I just kind of flat hand and lay my hand across that chicken flat like that and cut that into two halves. So now I've cut that big breast down the middle. And that'll make that cook a little faster. And I like to kind of pre-cook my chicken before I add it to the gumbo so it doesn't have to cook as long. Because the other stuff in this gumbo is fairly uh, fast cooking. You know, when you use seafood like shrimp, seafood cooks real fast so you don't have to worry about that cooking long. And that sausage isn't going to be something that takes real long to cook either. I'm going to work there. I'm going to rest my hands off, y'all. Alright, use my towel here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this pot to the heat. Turn that on by medium heat there. Drizzle some olive oil in this pan. Or pour, I guess I should say. Let that come to a little, get some heat there on that. Grab us a spoon, y'all. Got the perfect spoon here. Let that get a little warm. We're going to go ahead and get some of this, uh, like I said earlier, some of this Holy Trinity. And we just got some uh, chopped vegetables, as you can see. That's all that is. All right, y'all. So our uh, oil has gotten hot. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some of this trendy. Whoa, check this out, y'all. All right. That caught me off guard there with that pocket, y'all. So we're just going to go ahead and lay some of these chicken breasts on down in there. 
The reason that's in a zip like that, what I tip to do is go ahead and buy a bunch of those seasonings, those uh green onion, onion celery, and I just chop it all up, y'all, and then go ahead and throw it in a uh throw it in a ziploc bag. That way, as I need it, I can kind of just grab it out of the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop some seasoning off on this. This is a nature's own seasoning by Morton's I like to use. That has a uh, salts, peppers, dry garlic, onion, stuff like that in it. Then we're going to go ahead and top it off with a little Tony Satchers. Like I said, I like to go ahead and season up the chicken. Normally, Kenzie's pretty good about helping me with this part. But she's in there on her game right now. So we're going to grab us some tongs and kind of get this moved around. So we can season the other side of that chicken. All right, now. Just the fact I was not playing a game. <laughs> well, you wasn't in the kitchen. Yeah, I was watching the kitchen. All right. All right, y'all. Yes, I use a lot of seasoning. And note to y'all, uh, I know a lot, there's a big controversy by some people about pre-washing your meat or, or rinsing your meat off. I choose to rinse all of my meat off, whether I'm you dealing with pork or chicken, I rinse my meat off. I know that's controversial for some people, but here in the Williams household, we wash our meat. And y'all be right back, because Morgan is over here, done jumped into the cupcakes that she's not supposed to be in. Get out of that, little Miss Missy. Y'all see the type of stuff I have to deal with? Do you see? I just wanted y'all to kind of see what that chicken looked like now that I'm cooking it or whatnot. It doesn't look the best, but boy, you can see them flavors. And if y'all could just smell it, I hope you could smell it through the camera, baby. When I tell y'all that smell good, them Cajun spices and Cajun flavors is coming together, y'all. All right, y'all, there's that chicken on that chicken there. It's coming along well. So what I'm going to do is just chop that chicken up and let it kind of, I mean, I'm sorry, top that chicken up, cover it up is what I'm saying. We'll chop it up after it's done. I'm going to top it up and let that finish simmering out. Let those flavors lock in and let that finish cooking up. Then what I do is turn it off and let it kind of just rest. And then we'll kind of chop that up and make sure it's in uh, adequate pieces to go into our big pot of gumbo there. We're getting ready to start chopping up some of these sausages here. I just have a, a New Orleans andouille style sausage, some beef sausage, and some pork, pork smoked sausage. So we're going to chop that up and then go ahead and get that ready for the pot. There's our shrimp there. I have went ahead and uh, I was frozen shrimp that we purchased from the store. You can get that at your local grocery store. So uh, we've went ahead and kind of rinsed that off with some cool water so it can start the frost and kind of have it sitting there ready to go. So we'll have all our ingredients to throw in the big pot when the uh, time comes. All right, y'all. So this is me kind of chopping up some of the sausages. We're using three different sausages. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. One thing I do miss before we downsize to this apartment was ha us having a full size kitchen where I could kind of move freely and do more things. Yeah, but like in this like space, it's tinier. It's just kind of tight, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm going ahead. I'm chopping up these different sausages here. Like I said, that was that Dewey sausage. So some of these sausages I'll do whole. Some of them I kind of just cut up in the different sizes. Go ahead. That way we don't have big hunks of uh, meat floating in our gumbo. Plus, taking the truth, it goes a little farther because if you have kids like mine, they like to just pick out the meat and the shrimp anyway. All right, y'all. So I'm just chopping some of these into little medallions. Like I said, I have some of them in kind of half moons, as I call them. And I do some of the medallions to have a good equal little mix. That's what I like to do. Whoop, somebody calling me. So I'm going to finish getting all this sausage chopped up and prepared. Then we'll have all this done and ready to go for the gumbo, y'all. Is our sausage we have chopped up so far, so we're just getting that all finished, getting that compiled. Oh, I'm ready. And we almost ready. Kendra's gonna go ahead and take over. She likes to do some of that chopping to help me out. She's gonna take over and start chopping this up, so we're gonna get her going with this. All right, but you can go ahead and grab your little sausage and get started. My little sous chef here, y'all. I'll do one at a time. Okay, take your time and be careful. Remember, watch your fingers when you're dealing with the knife. Mm -hmm. Like move them everything. Yes, yes. And make them small. Don't be putting big old hunks of meat in there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now, I'm going to put y'all on to something here. Let me flip y'all around. Hold on. All right, y'all. So, we just chopping this chicken up here. I'm having to use a fork and a knife because, baby, it is hot. It's hot, y'all. So we're basically just chopping this chicken up. Getting it going. We're going to go ahead and drop it off in this pan. And that kind of helps get rid of any spots if you have. Morgan Taylor. 
And that also, by cutting this chicken up, it gives you a chance to get rid of any kind of gristly pieces you might come across. Alright. So we're just going to finish cutting this up, y'all. Then I'll show y'all once I get this all chopped up what it's looking like. And what I do do, uh, there'll be some remnants left over in that pan for some of that goodness. You know, some of those oils with that seasoning. And we will go ahead and add that Thai gumbo for some extra flavor. It's hard to cut. They go to sous chef, y'all. The sous chef wanted to get on on the action, so we're going to let her go ahead and get us some cutting it. Be careful, baby. Watch that knife and your fingers. And that chicken is a little warm. What about top? Trying to not, like, get big chunks. You're doing good. You're doing real good. And don't y'all laugh at us chopping this here on this little stove. Like I say, we, we limited for space in this little apartment. That's one of the downsides of living in an apartment. But we make it work. We make it do what it do. And if y'all can see, there's a lot of little goodness left over in this pot here. Some, you got it? Ooh. Man, you could have used a fork, baby. Oh, uh, uh, Luckily, y'all, we have washed our hands with that. Yes, but you yes. can see there's some uh, some goodness there in those oils and that seasoning. We're going to go ahead and add that uh, that goodness to our uh, pot here as well, our gumbo pot, so we can make sure we have that extra flavor in there. All right, so Kendall's gonna finish chopping up that chicken so we can get ready to combine everything in the gumbo pot because that should be boiling here soon. All right, y'all. Now, don't y'all be trying to tell nobody. Of course, I say that as I'm sharing this on uh, YouTube, but uh, normally, you know, with traditional New Orleans gumbo, people make a homemade roux, which starts with kind of like an oil and, uh, you know, some flour until you kind of get it darkened up in color. I ain't got time for this. I'm cheating, y'all. My little go-to cheat here is this uh, Louisiana brand gumbo base. <laughs> now this makes it a lot easier to get that gumbo going y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and use this to get the base of my gumbo started pretty much you start this off with some uh this packet here with some cool water and kind of just get it uh the lump side of it and kind of just add I think you add up to two to four quarts of water with it and just get it going basically just add your ingredients and uh let that boil up for a little bit and then baby you got instant gumbo ready to roll so this kind of takes the place of that uh that uh that roux that you would traditionally take your time kind of browning up by hand stirring in the pot take a little time this gumbo base kind of cuts out on that night and it actually tastes all right like i say i do knock it uh knock it up a bit like i said we're gonna go ahead and throw some okra and things like that in ours and i don't really follow the recipe on the uh on the bag like i said i kind of just go ahead and just get my stuff going and dump it in there to mix the water with it the instructions on the back are specific but i kind of just bootleg it and do my own thing but uh that's that little secret i want to share with y'all all right y'all so i'm back i finally got my pot to boil and i'm gonna go ahead and start adding this uh this components into the uh the gumbo so we're gonna start with that sausage we want to add that shrimp last because that shrimp is going to cook the fastest in seafood so we're just going to slowly Add all that sausage in there. All right, you've done that. Give that a good mix. Good mix. That's right, Parker. A good mix. Good mix, y'all. A good mix, as Parker said. This is what our chicken came out looking like, y'all. Look pretty good, don't it? Mm-hmm. Look pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and add that chicken as well. Okay, open the crock pot. You don't need no cough drop, boy. Okay. All right, give that a good mix, y'all. Oh, c'est la ha <laughs> Oh yeah, y'all, that pot filling up nice. Feel when I'm stirring, it feels nice and heavy. Oh yeah, baby. So we're gonna let that go a little bit, and we're gonna add that shrimp in about uh five minutes. I'll add that shrimp to it. All right, y'all. So I forgot to record me adding that shrimp to the pot, but I've added that shrimp to the pot, y'all. And this will be looking like so far. As you can see, it's a nice full pot. We're letting that shrimp cook it sunk to the bottom. Once it's done, it'll start coming up to the top. But go ahead and let that all get the cooking together. It's smelling real good, y'all. Smelling awesome, almost done. So we're just going to let that cook for a little bit, come back to a bowl, turn that down, and uh, that's pretty much going to be good to go. I've went ahead and put some rice on, and yeah, yo, I use instant rice. I, I, I'm not for all that. I mean, we cook regular rice occasionally. Peyton does that a little better than I do, I'm not going to lie. I prefer to use my little minute rice and call it quits. But uh, we about got it done, and uh, I'll show y'all once I get it bowled up and uh, ready to eat. I guess you could say it's a hit because Morgan show eating it, y'all. Mm 
Yeah, baby. She like it.